Hello and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. My name is Mohammed from Motion Time YouTube channel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you the basic settings of Corona Render Engine for Cinema 4D. Subscribe to Motion Time YouTube channel if you want to see more tutorials like this and other motion graphics tutorial every week. As opposed to most other renderers, in Corona, there is usually no need to change any render settings. In most scenes, the defaults will work great, guaranteeing the best quality and rendering speed possible. If you would like to understand what each render setting does, wait and see us explaining it in the rest of the video. To access kernel render settings, go to Render, and then Render Settings, or press Ctrl B or Command B on Mac to access the render settings. In here, you need you first need to select the Corona, and then if you click on Corona and Corona journal settings, you could see the journal setting of the Corona, which is our title for this video. Here, I'm going to explain to you each section. So in first section, we have progressive rendering limits. By default, rendering in, in Corona is indefinite, and it will never stop unless the cancel or stop button is pressed. You will use these limits to automatically stop rendering limits after a given time, pass amount, or noise threshold. All these options are there for you to optimize your scene to, in order to have a shorter time to render it. For example, if you put 200 in pass amount, Corona Render Engine will render your scene for 200 passes and it will, when it reach that amount, it will automatically stop. And same deal for time and noise limit. This option is so substantial that often 3D artists will spend hours of time in order to optimize their scene to have a shorter render time. But in Corona, you could define exact time that you want to your render engine to render your scene. Next section is global illumination, which we have several options in order to render our scene in a different GI modes. In here, I'm going to explain to you a simple rule in order to you understand how you could use global illumination. For interior scenes, use full multiple bounds as a GI mode and use UHD cache as a GI solver. For exterior, use full multiple bounces as a GI mode and pass tracing as a GI solver. Available GI modes in Corona Render Engines are non direct only, single bounce, and full multiple bounces. None that in this mode will disable GI calculation completely. In single bounce, will calculate the GI only once by the light you define in your scene. In full multiple bounces, will calculate the direct lighting plus the GI using the, your camera and the lights in your scene. And GI solvers in Corona Render Engines are pass tracing, UHD cache, and 4K cache as an experimental option. In pass tracing, is a rendering algorithm that computes the final image by tracing independent light paths from the camera, and is useful mainly in exterior scenes, where UHD cache would require longer per computation time and it won't be able to improve your rendering speed. UHD cache that is slightly based cache solution, which is a speed ups rendering. Next section is materials render third party materials. If you have a scene from another render engine and you have a materials and you don't have time to change it, you could check this option and this render engine will try to uh, render those materials but it won't be a good and clean result because it's from another render engine but if you want to render those materials you could check this option and it will render your materials next section is render override which have several options render hidden lights render hidden lights toggles the rendering of the hidden lights useful when rendering isolated objects 
Render only mask disable shading. This enables rendering for the mask passes and only skips the rendering of the beauty dependent passes. Useful for quickly rendering mask without you need to spend time on other passes. MTL override. This enable override material which will apply to all scenes object using for creating clay render usually for debugging problems problematic scenes preserve displacement this option will disable your displacement and let your scene to go faster if you need to include exclude this option will allow you to include or exclude a selected object from your rendering process this feature has a four option disable include list exclude list and viewport selected if you select disable this will have no change in your rendering if you select include list and you add some objects to this list these objects will only be rendered but if you select exclude list and you add some objects to it this object will not be rendered at your scene and if you select viewport section and you select some objects from your viewport, those objects will only be rendered. Next section is denoising. First, you need to select your method for denoising in order for Cinema 4D Engine to work on your noises in your scene. There are five methods of denoising. You will mostly use NVIDIA GPU AI because it's faster and cleaner in a short period of time. In the denoise amount, if you put a higher amount, it will not work much. But if you put a lower amount, it will try more and more to denoise your scene. That's all for today's Corona Render Engine tutorial. Like the video if you learned something new and check out other tutorials and assets in our channel. Have a motion day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.